Excellency, I want to take this opportunity once again to congratulate our teams, which have just been, which has just participated a few moments ago. So, Your Excellency, under my leadership as the Cabinet Secretary, we have uh, we have decided that uh, we are going to work very closely with the county government to ensure that we nurture talents down from the grassroots up to the national level. And as you can see, Your Excellency, today we have a, cup, uh, a World Cup trophy in this country. Your Excellency, as a country, we should work hard and ensure that we have our own, ta our own players in this country so that in future, Your Excellency, we can be able ourselves to, to uh, I mean to, so that uh, in future, we, we, be, we, we be able to participate in the World Cup. With those few remarks, I want to take this opportunity to ask all of you to be upstanding as I call upon His Excellency the President to give his remarks. Your Excellency. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everybody. Let's say what a great, great pleasure it's been today. For the third time, our country has been honored by the arrival once again of this magnificent trophy in its world tour. I want to say on behalf of all Kenyans that we are truly grateful both to Coca-Cola and FIFA for once again picking Kenya as one of the countries during this Cup's tour across the world. It shows considerable partnership, friendship, and the growing contribution, I would say, of our partners in terms of helping us develop our sports in this country. We have just witnessed a great game between our members of parliament and these young, budding, future World Cup participants who are here with us today. I'm also extremely happy because as many of you know, sports is a devolved function to see the number of governors who are here today to join us as we both celebrate this day and the arrival of this cup, but also as a sign of partnership between the national government and the county government in developing sporting activity across the country. I want to commit to them that as a national government, we look keenly forward to working together with you to be able to develop the talent of our young people. For me, today is not a day of speeches. Today is a day of celebration. Today is a day for us to be proud. Today is a day for us to remember that we still have a chance to one day enter that great field and participate in a World Cup tournament. So once again, FIFA, thank you. Once again, Coca-Cola, thank you. And we look forward to seeing you again in four years' time as you come through Kenya again, which is our hope. Thank you. May God bless you. And in final conclusion, this team and all their partners up there, we say today that we will give you a full kit so that you are able to play. The young man I was sitting next to tells me their field in Korogosho was taken away by NYS. Now we have agreed today, and Madam CS is there, that she will rectify that situation. NYS will relocate to a new place and make sure you fix their field and you sort it out so that they are able to play their game. Kwaayo machache na mengi mungu wa bariki. Long live Kenya. Asante ni sana.
making his remarks, and he's given a challenge to the administrators of football in the country and told them, listen, they've got to do this. Now, an opportunity that is reserved for the FIFA president, World Cup winners and heads of state, and President Uhuru Kenyatta.